Hey, what's up guys, it's Tuna here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can do this really cool freeze frame effect and I'm going to be teaching you how you can do it on your Android device. We are going to be achieving this effect using KaiMaster. If you guys don't have this app, the link is going to be down in the description below of this video. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is to go ahead and um, just launch Kind Monster and import on it the footage that you guys want to apply this effect to. I have this really cool shot of LeBron James dunking in slow motion. Looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut the parts that I need. I'm going to be working with this footage right over here. Looks pretty cool. And make sure that you have a stable footage that's really gonna help you make this effect in like a really fast time. So make sure you have a stable footage. And now go ahead and choose where you want your freeze frame to be. So I want it right over here. So go ahead and press on the clip and then press on this button right over here on your left and then it's going to give you all these options the one that you need to go ahead and do is the first one which is capture and save frame at playhead right over here and now i'm going to move to photoshop okay so that last option is going to save the photo into your gallery so now go ahead and just upload it into photoshop touch the link is going to be down in the description below if you guys don't have this app Using the Pyologen Selection tool right over here, we are going to make a selection around our object, the object that you guys want to apply this effect to. In this particular um, example, we're gonna be selecting LeBron James body right over here. The selection doesn't have to be perfect. Ju just make sure that you put a selection around his body just like this. Make sure that it is as detailed as you can, but you don't have to spend a long time on it. So I'm finishing up the selection right over here. So this is the selection, this is what I got right here. So now what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and press on this button right here on the bottom right corner, hit on the plus button, and then it's going to show you this list right over here. You're gonna go ahead and wanna press on this option which is layer from selection, which is going to create a layer from our selection, then go to this layer and disable it just like this. And now this is the frame that we are going to be importing into Kind Master. So now let's go ahead and save this image right over here. Hit done, save. And then you wanna go ahead and press on this button right here. And then hit save to gallery. And make sure you change the format from JPEG to PNG. This is really important. You need to do this. And go ahead and just press on our freeze frame and hit OK. Now the photo is saved. Going back to Camera Master, all what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just import this image right over here that we just saved on Photoshop and make sure that it is on the full screen just like this. Now go ahead and make sure to drag this image all over our project and then go back to the uh, moment where the freeze frame matches the video and then hit on trim to the right of the playhead using the scissors tool and now we're gonna have this footage right over here as you can see right off the bat this kind of looks pretty cool but the thing is the freeze frame doesn't look natural it looks like it's hovering above our video but we want it to look like it's inside the video so go ahead to the end of our uh, freeze frame then hit on that key button and create a brand new keyframe. Then go back to the beginning and just we're gonna slide it slightly to the left just like this. And now if we play the video, you will see that our freeze frame is like kind of in the video, which looks way more realistic. And as you can see, if we play it from the beginning, this is our effect. It looks way better and way cleaner than the first one. You can actually put this effect in any footage that you guys have. As you can see right over here, this is my previous video and I applied this effect into it. And as you can see, it looks kind of cool too. And you can put it in like music videos, magic videos, whatever you guys want, um, like crazy montages and stuff. A lot of people use it. Um, so I think this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think about this effect down in the comment section below. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and leave like down below subscribe to my channel if you guys did not join me already thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later peace out